Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Expeditions Viking. All right. Uh, before we uh, move on, I think it's a good idea to spend some more um, of our skill points. And the first thing that I want to do with Elmandretta is bump up diplomacy. I kind of want to max this out as soon as possible. It's going to be 12 next and then probably 15. So, um, you know, unlock special dialogue options. The sooner we can get special dialogue options, the better, I think. <coughs> so that'll be pretty good. Um, for Gunner... Doing a boost to Guarding might be good. Uh, well, the plus 10 hit points will also be pretty good. Is there something that increases uh, damage reduction? Thick Skin. That's physical resistance, though. Although, he, I mean, his physical resistance isn't all that great, so, hmm. Oh, you know what? Quick feet. <clears throat> Being able to flank enemies, that's, that's really good. Uh, Roskva, um... I think I want you to improve your healing. That's going to take most of your skill points. Uh, Nafia. Ton of skill points here. Oh, I did just uh, give you a bow, didn't I? I did. Alright. Um, let's at least get uh, the first level of that. Some better guarding would be good. Plus 10 hit points might not be bad. Although fortune favored, plus 3% points critical chance for all attacks. I think that's going to be a good one. What else? <clears throat> Taunt can be really good, because uh, you can force uh, um, an enemy to take an attack of opportunity. Heavy Sleeper is really good as well. During camping, you become fully rested by only resting one shift. Um, well, let's get some more guarding. And... Can't get hardened. Already got good patient. Fifty percent damage versus harried enemies is not bad. Low profile is always good. Her physical resistance is pretty awful. <coughs> Kind of tempted, but I only have six points, so I'll leave it. I'll, I'll wait and uh, get some more. Uh, now for Aslafer, um, ten more hit points might be good, but I think for him, some additional weapon skills will be better. Let's do extra damage. Uh, for Kettle, doesn't have too many points. Um, Really thinking about Lone Wolf, but that will only come in uh, later in battles. Uh, keen Eye is really good. There's something else that I was thinking of for him. Well, Night Vision. Night Vision will be good, eventually. Uh, low Profile I was kind of thinking of. Alright, we can do Keen Eye. And low profile. 
There we go. Uh, and eventually, I think uh, I will want Lone Wolf because uh, I I'm he's just going to be standing back in the back and primarily doing aimed shots for a lot of the uh, battles, I think. Uh, aimed shot is just really good, but you can't move, of course. All right, so let's uh, let's get back to exploring a bit. Um, that is that is out. Is this the uh, the side or I am unsure. All right, well it's fine. All right, I think this is the way that we want to go investigate. Already investigated there. Can't investigate the piggy. Okay, here is the camp. Yali Adelherson. The clearing is occupied by a group of men sitting around a fire, their equipment strewn about. The men all look young, but strong. It looks as if they've been here a few days. So we can uh, be confrontational, or we can be kind of friendly. I think we'll start off by being kind of friendly. Hi, Luxal. I see you've made yourselves comfortable. One of them, a young man about 18 winters, looks up from the fire and stands to address you. The others remain seated, but exchange sideways looks. <coughs> Hi, Luxel. We, uh, didn't expect to meet anyone here and thought it would be alright to set up camp. The young man looks nervous and signals for the others to stand. They look at each other briefly before standing, only to hover awkwardly as though unsure what to make of the situation. Nobody fucking move. No. You don't have to worry, I just want to ask a few questions. Young man seems to relax and makes a motion with his hands for the others to sit back down, which they reluctantly do. Sorry, we, uh, don't want any trouble. Ask away. Alright, uh, we've got a hard perception. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. I mean, I've got a seven, uh, perception. It's pretty good. Failed. You notice a skinned deer that lies dead at the perimeter, some of its meat boiling in the pot. Yeah. <clears throat> Where are you from? Down south. What are you doing here? Just passing through. We're, uh, merchants. If you're merchants, I'm sure you've got something to trade. Young man darts his eyes around the camp, seemingly searching for something. Just a couple of hides. Uh, 30 or tug of silver? Look, it's pretty obvious you aren't merchants. I don't appreciate the dishonesty, so I think it's best if you leave. Speaking of hides, these are my woods, as is the game that inhabits it. I'm gonna go with this one. The young man seems taken aback, a nervous look falling over him. Oh, uh, we're sorry. We, uh, uh give me a moment. You gained 50 valuables and three hides. The young man fumbles with a small pouch and hands it to you. Here, take this and the hides from the, from the kill. Now that that's dealt with, I have some more questions. Uh, alright, what? I'm going to take a look around your camp. Uh, sure, feel free. Hmm. That is empty. Come on. Come on. There we go. Ah, empty. A sword out of its sheath. Looks like these guys were expecting trouble. Isn't that a combination of color? The pattern typical... Can I, can I get that back? Nope. Typically used in, uh, what, yelling, I think? Eh, 
Now Slafer leans towards you, speaking in a low and calm voice. These men are well armed. We should be prepared for the worst. Leader of the group clears his throat nervously. Hey, uh, is there some sort of problem here? By the look of your equipment, I'd say you came from yelling. What's a band of school scouts doing here? The young man seems taken aback, a nervous look falling over him. I, we, uh, we better get moving. I think it's time to leave. We can't let them leave now. What are school's men doing here? We need to get more out of them. I don't know. They're young. Maybe they just wanted to see how close they could get. I don't see the harm in letting them leave. I trust my gut. My guts say you die. You're not leaving without giving me some answers. The young men grow nervous, sending each other more looks. We're not! No! The young men scramble to the weapons in the trees and, and their tents before you have time to attack them. Ah, come on! <sighs> Seriously? Totally should have been able to do that more. Well, this is not a... Okay, it's actually not that great, considering Nasslaver's all the way in the back and Torfin's up at the front. When flanking an enemy, grab hold of them to immobilize them until your next turn. Uh, totally do a tactical move, but... Alright, so what do we have? Untrained Rogue. Untrained Combatant. Untrained Berserker. Experienced Warrior. And untrained healer and untrained warrior. All right. Kind of regretting not giving myself a uh, um, stun yet, but uh, go with a heavy swing on you. Ooh, if that works. That's good damage. Oh, nice. Take a rock to the face as well. Oh, don't absorb it. So do I want to demoralize, or do I want to... I mean, I know he has a bow. He's got a knife and a sling. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna demoralize. Go. Probably should have saved him, uh, saved his move, and I could have <clears throat> done a uh, tactical move. Oh, apparently that's uh, that's on fire. Well, I did give you quick feet. That's right. You're flanked. Go after the healer. Okay, this is not what I would prefer, but I've got to move you. I'm going to take a, an attack of opportunity. Ow. But I, I got to get Asslafer in here. All right, well, I guess I'll take you out. Resisted Harried. I'm not sure that that mattered that much. Uh, you've got cover. Um, cover's great and all, but let's move you. And I can't move any further. I'll move. I mean, we're not, we're moving out of cover, but these guys aren't too difficult, so. Oh, tactical move. Oh, he's on fire! I love it! Reckless strike. You're steady. Let's 
do a heavy swing on you. <laughs> oh, he went down! Hey, he went down from the fire! That's brilliant. That is fantastic. Alright, uh... Probably should have done that first, but, uh... If I could get a flank with him, it wouldn't be too bad, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen. I want to take you out. Actually, no, it, it can happen. No, I can't move. Dang it! <laughs> Curses. Well, uh, you know... Tactical move, you're going to get on fire. fine. You, you'll be okay. You'll be okay. You're flanking now. That's the important thing. You can hit both of them. 90% chance to hit. Nice. Nice. And Roscoe didn't even get a chance to go. <laughs> I will take that victory. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we got five skill points. And unwanted guests has now been taken care of. Find the forest camp and decide how to deal with the travelers. Can I take these things now? I can. Excellent. Oh, broadsword. Oh, the guy was empty. Boo. We got some rations. He was empty. Uh, two iron, 21 valuables. A pot, two pots, actually. And some salvage. I suppose I could have tried taking some of them as, uh... Thralls, maybe. I don't know. I don't know exactly how that works, though. Okay, well, I think there's still something else around there. That's a traveler's camp. There's a body here. He had some valuables and an axe. Tool axe. There are some things over there. All right, well, let's take a quick look at the equipment that we just picked up. Uh, simple spear is pretty crappy. Uh, broadsword, on the other hand, certainly not as good as what I am using. Is it going to be better than yours? It is. Uh, better minimal damage, uh, slightly better crit chance, and much better armor penetration. Better than uh, my heirloom sword. Alvalder's helmet. Idis's husband left this spangin' helm for his eldest son when he passed. She wears it now in honor of his memory. Ooh. Oh, does only Idis get uh, the plus five mental resistance? I bet. I bet that's the case. Okay. Well, we can certainly get rid of the uh, the tool axe. I mean, uh, like deconstruct it when we uh, learn. There's bones here. A deer. Looks like wolves got her. Poor little creature never stood a chance. It's just an animal. Stay vigilant, lest we end up the same way. Yeah, I always gotta, gotta rain on their parade, don't you? 
A deer, dead mid-leap, decomposing and disarrayed by time. Hello? Let's face it, it's not here. You saying the big guy is wrong? We've been searching th for three weeks now, all on, a, all on a stupid hunch. Yeah, well, we're gonna keep looking until the big man says so. The big man? Who, pray tell, is the big man? Let's get some herbs. Two herbs. And the log is empty. Oh. That's no fun. Ah. I think we are near a, a battle site. I recognize the the red. Yep. Yep. We are near a battle site. Uh, can we come in this way? And it just immediately starts. We're not going back. <laughs> Runs up. Wow. Activated demoralize. Run through it. Oh, you dodged it. Well, okay. Uh, do you have? Did I get you that skill? No, I don't think I did. Do I care about damage reduction right now? I mean, we're dealing with uh, untrained civilian, untrained rogue, untrained civilian. And I'm pretty sure I've been dealing some critical hits. So let's go ahead and turn that. See if this does it. Let's see. Alright, well, before we do. Oh, you are. You're in range. Alright. Um, oh, shoot. Forgot about you. My bad. Oh well. Let's flank you. I should have done that first. Cost her the attack of opportunity, but now you're flanked. Oh, I should have done the. Oh, I should have done that. Dang it! All right, well we'll play around with that uh, in a bit. We'll flank you. All right. What is my attack chance? 95% chance. Oh, you're not demoralized. Excellent. Okay, and now your turn to sling... Nope, shoot! That was a misclick. That was a misclick. Run back. Since you already wasted your, uh, your moves. And I guess I will move up here then. Uh, Gunner can also move up here. Demoralize. You uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, 
Oh, I can't actually flank. Okay. Well, uh, before we do that, let's uh, let's play around with uh, with you. We have not seen this uh, ability. Activated grapple. So he's grappled. I don't know exactly what that does, but uh... whap. Oh, what's the worst that could happen, right? <laughs> there wasn't a fire in there. I was, I was curious to see if that would actually work. Well, not work, but see if that would actually happen. There we go. Victory! No injuries. Kettle nudges one of the fallen with his boot. I know this man. He is one of your thralls. I've seen him around the, lo the longhouse. They all are, I think. They must have escaped during the raider attack. They're all still breathing. They've earned their freedom. Let them go! Earned? The only way to earn anything is through hard work or victory in combat. Trying and failing does not a free man make. Pah. They were ill-equipped and poorly trained, but they fought anyway. They've proven that they have the will to be free. Um, nah, let's recapture them. Uh, we need thralls to build up Skier. Let's tie them up and bring them back. Uh, tempted to release them, but, uh, nah, let's recapture them. A few minutes later... Three skill points received, and it feels like something was just about to pop up, and then it didn't. So that seems a little bit buggy, but... I now have seven thralls. Kind of tempted to let them go, but... Gunner has lost morale. Alright. It's okay. He's at zero. He'll survive. Old fireplace that doesn't seem to have been used in a used for a long time. It's all part of the same thing. I think we're going to have another uh, battle when we uh, investigate this. So I'm going to call this an episode here, and when we return, we'll investigate this uh, this well and probably get into a battle. Then I need to find the last of the trees. See you then, everyone.